Yet another ex-Trump staffer is feeling the heat tonight. Former campaign insider Carter Page is again denying any Russian connection in the face of new evidence made public this weekend. The CBC's Paul Hunter has that story. Thank you very much, everybody. Thank you. Rare are the moments like last week when reasons for Americans to wonder what's up with Donald Trump and Russia are on such specific display. In fact, for all the allegations, questions and denials on whether the Trump campaign colluded with Russia to undermine the 2016 U.S. election, it can be sometimes hard keeping up with who's said to have done what and when in the weeks and months before and after election night. Which brings us to Carter Page. No, I've, ne I've never been an agent of the foreign pol uh, power in any, by any stretch of the imagination. Emphatic you know, today that, uh, no, he's not a spy and never was. Once briefly an advisor to the Trump campaign with prior ties to Russia, but he did not, he says, help the Russians get Trump elected. This is so ridiculous, it's just beyond words. But in U.S. federal court documents made public last night, it's clear the FBI believed and had evidence that Page was, as the documents put it, an agent of a foreign power and was the subject of targeted recruitment by the Russian government. The documents are formerly top secret applications by the FBI seeking judicial permission to wiretap Page. They first came to light months ago when Republicans and Democrats fought over whether they signaled the FBI was abusing its power. Tweeted Trump today now that parts of the documents are public, witch hunt, rigged, scam. But the documents show the wiretap was approved by Republican judges four times before and after Trump won the White House. Much of the more than 400 pages are redacted, and Page has not been charged with any crime. Today, emphasizing he may have had conversations with Russia at different times, but... I'm very careful in terms of, you know, making sure that there's a clear record. Uh, there is nothing in terms of any nefarious behavior. Okay. Meanwhile, the Russia investigation moves ever forward. But to the questions, when will it all wrap up? How are all the dots connected? What exactly is it that's going on here to date, Ian? There are answers to none of it. And in your story, Paul, you mentioned the Helsinki summit. Any word yet on what Trump and Putin talked about in that private one-on-one? -on -one? Short answer? Nope. Um, word from both Democrats and Republicans today is that here we are almost a week later and no, uh, you know, whatever was talked about between those two remains between those two, raising questions from Democrats today again about what is behind all the weirdness with Trump. Uh, lawmakers and commentators alike are more and more suggesting aloud that the only explanation anyone can now imagine is that Putin really does have something on Trump. It's what many have long wondered but dismissed but are now putting it out there. It's like for all the trees these past many months, people are now finally seeing the forest because they have no other explanation for his behavior. There's still no proof, but it's all they got. And Trump is doing nothing to dissuade anyone. Ian. Okay, Paul, thank you.